Nine thirty-six. your time. Well, when someone with dementia is in need of extra help and support, a caregiver steps in. According to the CDC, 80% of the time, a loved one provides that care in their very own home. Yeah, doctors say taking on that role, it's, it's hard, right? It's hard work. It's stressful. It can even lead to their own health issues. Well, now there's a new app out there trying to give those caregivers the tools they need and a reminder to take care of themselves, too. Give them a nice kiss. <laughs> Dennis and Sheila Huntington have been married for 53 years. She always tells me how she likes having me around yeah, right there. Dennis spent decades as a minister. When it was time to retire, he felt called to do something else. Found out they need caregivers in homes for the elderly and thought maybe that's what I could do and enjoy. He spent about 10 years doing that. Then Sheila was diagnosed with dementia and now he's a caregiver in his own home. The caregiver is what we call the invisible patient. Professor Richard Holden and a team of many others have developed an app to help caregivers just like Dennis. It's called Brain Care Notes. Caregivers fill out a clinical evaluation. Then care notes are provided based on that assessment. And then a care coach works directly with the caregiver. We assess the caregiver just like we do the care recipient. We want to know their stress levels. We want them to track it over time. And the coach spends a lot of their time managing the care of the caregiver. One priority is making sure the caregiver takes a break to focus on something they enjoy. You need as a caregiver to be able to relax somewhat or it can overcome you. Dennis tries to spend about an hour a day woodworking. He also finds it helpful to talk to other caregivers and even on the tough days he knows the most important thing is let them know that love's there. Now, Professor Holden there says the, the Brain Care Notes app, it's currently being used by study participants. He and his team, though, are working to develop more features here. They don't know yet when it's going to be available to the general public or, or what it's going to cost or ultimately look like. They're hoping, though, to get health insurance companies on board to help cover some of that cost.